The video I did a few days ago about uh, a couple of things that you didn't know about me went really well for some reason. Y'all like that. So I decided I'm going to tell you two more things about me that you probably didn't know. So for a very long time, um, more than two decades, I have done television news in various markets, television news, local news in various markets across the country. And it wasn't really until I came to Atlanta, Georgia, which I am a Georgia girl, not from Atlanta, but I'm from Georgia. But it wasn't until I came to um, Atlanta, worked at WSB TV as an anchor reporter, that I kept getting these uh, emails as well as when people would see me in person, they would tell me this incredibly often. You are so pretty for a dark skinned girl. You are so pretty for a chocolate girl. People thought they were complimenting me. However, it is the epitome of an insult because it says, if you really pay attention to it, that it is stunning that you're pretty at all because you're dark skin. It is a backhanded compliment, which means it is not a compliment. And it was given to me so often, it was almost like I was an anomaly because I was a dark skinned woman and because I was attracted. Those two things just never seemed like they could ever go together. Of course, it always came from African American people, my own people. I know I'm not alone, but I can tell you is that beauty comes in all shapes, sizes, colors, textures, you name it. One woman's beauty does not negate mine and vice versa. We really got to work on that. The other thing that you probably don't know about me, of course, coming up in July, I'm going to celebrate 14 years of surviving breast cancer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But of course, when I had to go through that, I um, had chemotherapy and radiation. The chemo, of course, took my hair. And with it taking my hair, I grew this hair back. So when my hair grew back. I was grateful for it. But more importantly, I was grateful to still be alive and healthy and cancer free. So after going through that, my hair just wasn't really important to me. So I just really wanted to grow it back and it grew back. And I was grateful to have this big head of hair. People kept asking me, okay, um, what are you going to do with your hair? What are you going to do with your hair? Are you going to relax your hair again? Are you going to do your hair back to the way when it looked like this? What are you going to do with your hair? I got so tired of people being concerned about my hair and what I was going to do with it that the more people asked me, the more I knew I was going to do nothing with my hair. Because for me, I was grateful to have it. And I realized looking at myself and looking at my hair, there was absolutely nothing wrong with me wearing my hair in its natural state. It wasn't bothering anybody. It definitely wasn't bothering me. So why was it affecting you so much about what I was going to do with my hair? And the more people asked, the more I got more emboldened and more confident about just wearing my own hair. And so I didn't care what anybody thought. And I went back on television that way. And of course, Lord have mercy. The emails I got about my hair were just despicable in some way. One lady wrote me, really, Jaquetta? A jerry curl? Really? And not that there's anything wrong with a jerry curl, but I was like, I don't have a jerry curl. It's just my natural hair. So here again, we need to be much more kind to one another. Give each other grace about what somebody decides to do with their hair or their body or what have you. Why is what I look like so important to you. If you don't like it, then don't you wear your hair like mine. You do what you want to do, whether it's wearing your natural hair, relaxing it, wearing a weave, wearing it bald, whatever it is, mind your business. That I am comfortable, incredibly comfortable in the skin that I'm in with the hair that I was given. And I walk boldly and confidently into life into the world, being my authentic self. So those are two things that you didn't know about me that now you know. Okay, bye. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. <laughs>